Well, thank you very much. It was a star-studded weekend in New Orleans. I was happy to be there, to be in every step with Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, and Chris Bosh. And it all started on Friday, gathering at the Player Hotel, the old Hyatt down there by the Superdome. And look at this room of individuals just to talk to the 24 best players in the game. Questions ranging from basketball to things that are totally out of line. But then we got back in line for NBA Cares Day of Service. This was a wonderful opportunity for your Heat All-Stars, among others, to gather and help change the mindset idea and even the outside of Clark Preparatory High School outside of New Orleans. A wonderful day of service headlined by your Miami Heat. On Saturday, we started early. It was a Wade, Wayne Wade event, the Wade's World Foundation partnering with James Patterson, the fine author who is from South Florida, talking to young people about literacy. They will get together and put that webcast together so kids all around the nation can check it out. Also on Saturday, LeBron James Family Foundation refurbishing the gym at a boys and girls club just outside of New Orleans. LeBron James making it plain. This was his favorite part of All-Star Weekend, seeing the smiles on these kids' faces. More smiles, by the way, at Riverdale High School. Dwayne Wade and Gatorade getting together for a surprise locker room makeover for the boys basketball team. Look at these faces when they come in the room. See, they had those old lockers, the old metal deals you and I had back in high school. Then they go in and get the old double wide mahogany. That's big time for Riverdale. Congratulations to them. Great job by Dwayne Wade and Gatorade getting together for that. And then all-star Saturday night. And guess who's a champ all over again? That man right there, Chris Bosch, making no shots for Team Bosch in the Shooting Stars competition with Dominique Wilkins and Swin Cash. Back-to-back -back champions for Team Bosch on the All-Star Saturday Night platform. And then on Sunday, it was game day in New Orleans. The big three ready to roll, leading the charge. Two starters and a reserve, of course, headlined by Dwayne Wade. And they came out quick. All the shots were falling for the East, but the West, they pushed back. But as the guys will tell you, Coach Vogel and his defensive mindset, he did not want to be a coach allowing the most points ever. Well, the game had the most points ever, but the Heat did push back to victory. Coach Vogel's a defensive-minded coach. It'd be the same with Spo, man. And, uh, you know, he was like, you know, we on pace to give up the most points in All-Star history. Not on my first time coaching All-Star team. So, you know, we made it a point to just try to get some stops, man, in the third and fourth quarter. We are just like, look, all right, they've been kicking our butts the past three years. Like, I know it's All-Star game, but we need to win. Like, let's win. The performances, I mean, obviously Kyrie had an unbelievable performance, but Melo had an unbelievable performance as well. And, you know, just to be a part of it was cool.